thank you, everyone. Uh, look, before I uh, hand over to Michelle, um, but it really is an uh, honour and a pleasure, uh, as you will be aware, uh, Adele Hewlett, our library's manager, passed away suddenly at her home in Tamuka uh, early on Saturday. Her creativity, innovation and energy for change and community connection, uh, and this comes from uh, a citation for the Lianza Library and Information Association of New Zealand award which she received uh, late no, uh, in November, just uh, gone. Uh, her nominators uh, said she's inspiring. She is an early adopter of new innovations uh, who connect with others and bring them on the journey. Adele started as our library's manager in 2018. Uh, she identified multiple opportunities to increase the library services offered, engage with the community and actively remove barriers. This was especially apparent over the last few years in the COVID environment. Uh, Adele took these challenges in her stride and set about providing much needed and appreciated support. Uh, the community focus that Adele and her team have developed gives connection, enjoyment and uh, value on many, uh, many levels. I think we'll all know and celebrate Adele as a real innovator in this space. And I think, you know, as far as the organisation, it's interesting that we look to the libraries and, and that's where we uh, saw the innovation happening and uh, really cool to have uh, that um, direct community contact with um, some really cool innovation. And just to name a few, uh, the short stories vending machine. I think uh, I heard the comment that it had to be dialed back. It was a little bit raunchy, some of the stories that came from it at one point. Um, but uh, for kids and adults, and we've seen those uh, vending machines out at the airports and what have you, so really cool innovation. Um, books for you, uh, for uh, housebound services, uh, delivering through COVID, COVID and some of those things, just to make sure that those services were still accessible. Uh, Nao the robot, uh, if anyone uh, has visited and seen him in action. Uh, the vaccine pass support uh, for our most vulnerable, uh, you know, over 4,000 people had access via Adele and her team, and they just did such an amazing job uh, for our community and supporting through that time. And my favourite, and I think uh, it's up to us to to uh, get this one finished for her, but uh, Piggy Squares and uh, Blanket Forts. I think we can all uh, draw a smile when we uh, remember Adele and uh, think of the blanket, big, largest blanket fort still to come. So a um, bit of pressure on us. We need to deliver um, for her legacy. We will miss our uh, work colleague, our friend, uh, our mentor. There's so many of you. Uh, and she will live all... She will always live on, always within the organisation, with such a legacy of innovation. Just from a personal note, I think, uh, you know, being the mayor of the district, and if you're one-on-one -on -one with Adele, you knew who the boss was, and it was Adele. I think we've all been in that uh, situation. Uh, you know, she was a, a real leader and um, just a wonderful woman, so we'll certainly miss her. And I just want to recognise, you know, what she meant to all the staff in the organisation. And we are all here to support each other uh, through this time because it's going to be tough. Um, but let's just remember her for the great innovator that she was and uh, hold up her legacy. So uh, thank you. We're all going to stand now and just have a minute of silence. Thank you. Uh, thank you, everyone, and uh, please be seated and appreciate all the staff making the effort to come and be in attendance.